back again to our channel. In case you're new here, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Yes, I am here to talk about Tunisia happiness. What is happening in Tunisia? Oh my God. You know, many times I'm always talking about Tunisia. What is going on about in Tunisia? What is going on with our Nigerian brothers in Tunisia? What the Nigerian the Tunisia police is doing to Africans in Tunisia, to migrants in Tunisia, to people that migrated to Tunisia. Of course, we all know that when we are going to Tunisia, we are not just going there to settle down. We are going there to, you know, we are going there to move to Italy. You know, yes. So, Tunisia police have been aware of why migrants are coming to their country. They are aware of why migrants are coming in a mass to their country. You understand? So, they are not destroying their settlements. They are destroying where migrants are staying. They are destroying where Nigerians, Ghanaians, Cameroonians, Singaporeans are staying. You understand? Yes. So, I have played a video at the beginning of this video uh, to show us how and what is, going, what is going on in Tunisia. And this thing happened in Safax. You understand? This video was sent to me by somebody, a friend in Tunisia. You understand? This video happened in Safax. His own settlement where he was staying was also destroyed. But thank God he also has a place to stay as well. You understand? He has a place to stay. He has a job in Tunisia. So he's now staying in his accommodation, in his company's accommodation, in his boss's accommodation. Because when he was staying, he rented the place. You understand? With his, uh, with other uh, African brothers. Because he doesn't want to stay with his boss accommodation. But now he has moved into his boss accommodation. Because of this incident. You understand? Yes. So I'm going to play another video. For us to see what is going on in Tunisia, for us to be aware, so that in case anybody intends going to Tunisia, you have to be prepared. You have to be prepared for what is going on, for what is happening in Tunisia. You understand? As I see them, I will return. As I see them, I will return. Then pass the pick there. As I see them, I pass the pick. I will return. I will return. As I see them.
sure how many of us have watched this video. What do you think about this video now? What comes to mind? What comes to your mind when you talk about this video? About what our African brothers are going through in the hearts of their fellow African brothers. You understand me? Now, when you are going to Tunisia now, how do you intend to go to Tunisia? If you intend to go to Tunisia, the many of us still want to go to Tunisia because I'm sure that after watching this video, it will not detail many people. Many people will still want to go to Tunisia. So if you want to go to Tunisia, I will advise you to seek a Tunisia visa. Tunisia visa is three months. I possess Tunisia visa. Not because I possess Tunisia visa. You can also go by road. I have done a video of um, going by road to Tunisia. I've given directions. If you want to go to Tunisia, if you want to arrive in Tunisia, I have given directions from Nigeria to Tunisia. I have given directions, I've done a video on that. And that video has, has garnered a lot of views. At least I have more than 2,000 views on that video. Yes. Then, I will advise many of us, if you want to go to Tunisia, like I advised in that video, I will still put the video in the description box below. Like I advised in that video, Try to get a Tunisian visa because getting a Tunisian visa will give you more respect from the Tunisian authorities because you came to their country legally. But if you go by road, you know, you'll be hiding from head to head until you see a job where somebody can do a proper employment visa for you. You understand? Yes. So you have to try to go to Tunisia through visa. I know it, it can be quite expensive than going by road. But road, you have to be mentally strong, emotionally strong, physically strong as well, spiritually strong, because our village people can follow us to the desert. You remember in my last video about Tunisia, I, have, I did a video where one Aousa guy ran mad in the desert. One Aousa guy ran mad in the desert that my friend had to rescue him when they were going by road in the desert. My friend had to rescue him and take him to his house of brothers. You understand? So, if you intend to go to Tunisia, go with Tunisia visa. I possess Tunisia visa for 150,000 naira. Deposit is 100,000 naira. Your visa comes out within three days. Requirements are your international passport by data page and a recent passport photo of you. You understand? Yes. If you also need jobs in Tunisia, I have people in Tunisia that can get you jobs, but there are many jobs, many jobs. You said like cleaning, you know, working in a bar, working in a restaurant. You understand? And we all know that Tunisia dinners is higher than um, than than Naira. It's very high. It's one of the highest food in Africa. Tunisia dinners, but it is one of the most expensive to live in. Tunisia city is one of the most expensive. Tunisia as a country is one of the most expensive to live in as well. You understand? Like uh, I'm talking about, um, you know, a standard of living. You understand? Yes. So if you find this informative, if you find this educative, do not forget to click the like button. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to click the like button. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Very important, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I appreciate you guys for supporting me. I really appreciate you guys for the likes. And if you have any questions about Tunisia, please don't hesitate to contact me in my WhatsApp number in the description box below. Yes, if you have any questions about Tunisia, if you have anything you want to ask me, don't ask me anything that I have answered in this video. If you have anything that, or don't ask me anything that I have answered in my previous video, you understand? But you can feel free to ask me. Feel free to ask me. Yes. If you have anything that you want to ask me, feel free to contact me in the WhatsApp box below. Thank you and God bless you. I'll see you guys in the next one.